ArchiFrame initial setup, starting with the default ArchiCAD template to get going. After installation, you will see ArchiFrame in the Options menu and selecting the menu item will open the ArchiFrame main palette. You could take one of the samples, for example the ArchiFrame demo 2016.pla, which is the best one to be used with the Getting Started video series linked in the info text. But for the purpose of this video, let's start with the default ArchiCAD template and do the additions needed to use ArchiFrame properly. You should take your own startup template as a starting point in this phase of the setup. First, let's create a few layers. AF Elem for the ArchiFrame element object showing where the framing or boarding goes. AF Planks to be the default for any newly created ArchiFrame plank. AF Panel for cladding. AF Plank Studding for the non-load bearing framing parts. AF CLT for cross laminated timber boards. AF Planks Floor for floor beams. And AF Board for any gypsum or other board type. Then a layer combination of AF Solid Others Wire, which will show all the architect items on a wireframe layer and ArchiFrame as solid. The exception is the layer AFLM, which is good to usually be wireframe too. Then AF only, which hides everything else but shows all the ArchiFrame items. It is important to make a good template. Please consult your local ArchiCAD vendor or check some videos on the topic to learn more about good templates. Adjusting ArchiFrame settings. First, let's enter the license information that we got by email. To do that, I will open Settings, select the online license, enter the correct credentials, and click the Select Refresh button to activate the selected item in the license list. Many of ArchiFrame's built-in features are in the Data folder. To know where everything is, it is best to click the selected folder radio button and browse for the data folder. In Windows, it is in the C drives folder ArchiFrame slash data. The user specific setting folder has the user specific settings and perhaps some changes to the default rules in the data folder mentioned above. We have a few different ones having the material list specific to those countries. For example, in the US, we have the imperial plank sizes, for example, 2x4. Now we're going to select the default one and copy it under C ArchiFrame and give it our own name. Then we will edit the raw material list. The raw material list is in the file ArchiFrame Blocks Changes.xml and is best edited with the free Notepad editor. Let's add one of our own types by copy and pasting an existing one and giving it new dimensions. The ID and name are visible to the user. The thickness and height attributes define the size of the raw material in meters using dot as a decimal separator. Then select the folder from ArchiFrame settings. It is listed here in the Add and Edit Planks tool. For more details, please see the links in the info box.